Okay. All right, Jackson, how are you, mate? Good, good. Thank you for having me. How are you? I'm good, man. Welcome to the Turn Me On. It's an NFT speed dating show where you get 10 minutes to cut through all the fat and just go straight to the hot points um, and basically get to see if you can win me over. So are you feeling nervous? You ready? Uh, I'm not nervous. I'm ready. And have you been on speed dating before? No, I haven't actually. So this is new. Surprisingly, not many people have been on speed dating, but you understand how it works. So we've got a very short yeah. time period. So you basically got to give me the best of the best um, and then see if you can woo me. So I'm going to hit that, that clock. We got 10 minutes from now. Now, it's a bit of an interesting speed date because you're not really my sort of like a beefy blokes. So they're not really the sort of character I normally go for, but let's see if we can get a bit of a bromance going. So <laughs> to start off with, mate, um, what's the idea behind the project? Yeah, so the idea sparked in late December. Um, it simply really is just what I thought the space lacked and it's what I wanted to do. Like, it helps if you like what you're doing. So I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. So this is my first startup and yeah, I mean... Really, it's all the main focus is education and mentoring. Um, it's always going to go back to that and it's going to be like that for its existence. So, yeah, that's, yeah. I'm a big thing for education. And I want to know because the characters are very, like, they're very Australian. I love it. They've got the mullets. They've got the Aussie outfits. They're, they're, there's one that looks like, uh, I think, uh, a crocodile, like the crocodile hunter. Like, I love that part about it. Is this more directed towards the, the males or is this open for females as well? Like, are you directing it? That, is that your audience? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, originally, we were like, oh, maybe we should direct it at males, men's mental health, all that stuff. Um, we ended up doing a pitch night in Brisbane. Long story short, decided that's not the way we should do it. Um, obviously, it's in the name. The art is males. So we will be doing a female collection. But yeah, I think the art is just dope. It's meant to relate to the everyday bloke and because I think they need mentoring the most. So that's really what it is. Yeah, no, 100%. And from 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 my point of view, uh, it's like for any bloke out there, you guys, uh, from what I can tell, from what I've seen and on the little bit of the dive, you guys are really good blokes yourself. Is the team all Australian or you guys have got some international uh, debuts in there? Yeah, so we've got a massive team, um, like 15 people that work here and there. Um, but three founders from Brisbane um, have two other people that are on our team from Australia and then the rest of them are all international, Europe and America. So, yeah. And uh, what's the what's the sort of size of the collection? What sort of like what are you sort of aiming for? Have you got a set size yet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so five thousand and five is the total. Five of them being um, one of ones. Um, one of them being the crocodile that you just mentioned. You know, Steve Irwin and stuff like that. So yeah. And I uh, like what's the so the the education. So I want to go back to that a little bit more. So you're going to have five thousand of these NFTs. You want to get that community in there. You want to grow that community. Like how are you going to be educating them on how to trade, like educating them on in how to build businesses? What's the education that you plan to provide? Whitelist, what's that sort of uh, idea? Mostly everything. I mean, for us, it's like technology, always going to be on top of the curve for technology, um, always going to be on top of the curve for like NFTs, obviously, um, crypto, stocks, all that stuff. We have a whole bunch of things. We're going to have courses. Um, we have like our own like Shark Tank type thing. We have mentors coming on for spaces, which we've proved that we have some very good connections through our podcast already. So yeah, that's the whole thing is just really educating people and making sure that they're on top of the curve. Now, this is one that I, I, I think I asked and I've, I've been really interested in for the projects these days is I'll, I'll relate it back to speed down a little bit. Like if I met you on the first date and you came out all flash and stuff and offered me all this, this, this and that, and I'm like, wow, I completely got wooed. And then I actually get to know you and then you don't actually give me anything. Like if you, for some reason, you don't succeed in selling out the full min, can you still continue on with your roadmap? Like, do you have like out sort of outside of funding or is there like, have you got the goods to continue on? Because a lot of projects fall short when they, if they don't and it's harder time. So I'm just being realistic with the harder times. Can you cool. contribute and keep going? Yeah, of course. So um, originally we were looking at triple what we're looking at right now if we even sell them all out. So yeah, we're fine. Like, the way that our utilities are set up, we've been building it for seven months. So we've basically already worked on all of our utilities. We've spent close to six figures already. So basically they're already ready. That's not saying that we wouldn't want the money at all. Obviously it'd be great. But yeah, a lot of them are not free utilities. Obviously, like for example, the merch, we are doing that for free right now. But if we don't sell out, then we won't do it for free. So just yeah. stuff like that, you know? Yeah, no, that, no. That, and that's like, that's it's a tough question to ask because I know but a lot of projects and I'm, I'm asking a lot more these days to people is like, if you if you're if you're like saying I can do this and this this but you can't actually do it if you don't sell out yeah. ten thousand then you can't really be promising that sort of stuff because that's what it's so when it comes to a bit of speed dating I'm I'm asking I want to get to know you a little bit better and, and it looks like you get, you got the goods to continue on you mentioned merch there like uh, what are you what are you looking at are we looking at like just mm -hmm. your standard tees or are we going a little bit out there 
Yeah, so it's already finished. Um, I wouldn't say it's out there yet, not for this drop. Like we have four designs, but two hoodies, um, two shirts, hats. That's basically the basics. Um, I know the printing company. So yeah, it's pretty good like that. <laughs> pretty easy and all done already. So yeah, it's already ready. And if it's a sellout, people are going to be uh, instantly, well, they're going to receive their the merchandise. Is that the way you're going? Yeah, literally be instantly. Like it'll probably be the first utility. Like everything will be pretty instant, but that will be like the first one that we'll give people because it's been so long. People have been waiting so long. Now, I love that it's got the Australian side to it. Obviously, we're both Australian. Mm -hmm. I do play on the fact that I'm Australian. I spend a lot of time speaking to people in the US and they love Australians. So you've got that, you've got that little bit of like, hidden gem there so if you can market it to the right people mm -hmm. i feel like people are going to be interested um but in saying that they've got to be want to be part of the community so are you like is this are you trying to open this up to the, the the wider community like how are you how are you attacking that how are you getting to reach these people have you got uh, like marketing strategies to reach out to these people yeah so being humble i feel like we've kind of dominated the australian market completely already and we haven't missed out yet um so definitely the international market has been my main focus the Australian market's going to come. The main focus is definitely international and our, our marketing is targeted at them. And I made sure at the start of the project that it wasn't just Australian traits. It kind of relates to people around the world. So that's like, you know, it's not too Australian yeah. because that would just be limiting us. So yeah, yeah, it's definitely a big focus is getting mostly Americans as well. I think that's a huge focus for us. I think the, um, in my opinion, I think the UK scene would love, love a project like this. They, yeah. they love Australians. I think yeah. they would relate to it, and yeah, chuck a chuck a bloody English pommy cricketer in there, and they'll they'll bloody they'll start yeah. <laughs> they'll start flooding for That's them. True. But um, the, so a few other questions. Um, you've told about the, the 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 size. Have you got a sort of date that you're planning on launching this collection? Yeah, so this is actually going to be alpha for this podcast. Um, oh. It's actually on the eighth of October, so that's eighty days away exactly. How so yeah, we're finally minting. Yeah, the hot stuff, the hot scene. We're getting the hot alpha. That's what this is all about. Um, a couple more questions. So we've gone on to about six minutes. So we, we're, we're speeding through this. You're, you're really flying through the speed. Guide. I hope you're not always this quick, but uh, no, <laughs> I won't touch on that. But uh, so uh, animations, like I see this as a project that could have like good animations. Like is, and I, this is another thing. I had a guy on a show recently speaking. At, he's, a, he's an animator and I hate how projects promise this, but it does take a long time to create cartoons and stuff. Is this something that you guys are looking into? Because I think, with the sort of um, characters you could create, it'd be quite a funny sort of animation. And I know I have seen a video of, I think, tossing some fire or some sausages or something like that. And I wanted to know more. Is there more to it? Yeah, so that video was marketing purposes, maybe a bit of a waste of money. Um, that was just the <laughs> animation stuff. But it was also cool to bring the brokes into 3D to see what they might look like in the future. Um, but definitely the cartoony art. So anim like we can animate that, make cartoons. And it's definitely something that's in my uh, mind in the future. We're currently working on a storyline for the blokes. So yeah, let's just say it is in the works. We already have animated, like all that, the one of ones are animated. Um, this is some alpha as well. The, the project, the plan is after me to, we'll have a part on the website. You'll connect your wallet and you'll be able to download your bloke in many different ways. One of them will be animated. So yeah, hopefully eventually every single bloke will be animated as well. And I'm, I'm assuming you haven't set any prices yet. These prices are to be as per that closer to the date. Is that correct? Um, we actually have. Um, oh, just okay. because we, we listed them so long ago and then the market's dipped, but we're kind of sticking to our guns. We don't want to screw people over. I mean, there's a free mint hype right now. We're not free. So there's three prices. Um, we have 250 for our OG people, most active people. Um, that's going to be 0 0.055. Whitelist is 0 0.075. And then public is 0 0.09. So yeah. Awesome. I, I love, look, one of the things I love about this project um, is the fact that you said just then you were going to launch earlier and obviously certain things happened. I don't know if market conditions, you maybe just weren't ready. And I think that's a good thing for anyone listening is that you actually took the time to stop, reconsider, reevaluate, and then go back to the drawing board and pick the right time. Because a lot of great projects that I thought were good to buy into have launched in bad times or have not been completely prepared and they are now now zero. Unfortunately, they are nothing, or they are struggling. So I, I do appreciate um, that. Any uh, any other hot tips? Like any other alpha that we should know? I know you've already dropped so much, but like, what, what's your what, what's your favorite part about the project? Like, why why does it mean so much for you to create this? Like, I know you said you want to be an entrepreneur on this side, but why do you love this project specifically? Oh yeah, for sure. Like, I wanted to be an entrepreneur, but this project is literally all me. Like, I'm the main founder. This is my full time job. The other two founders have jobs, but they obviously work on this. So. Everything about this project is me. It's all my vision, basically. 
Um, but what I love most to answer your question is definitely the mentoring aspect. Like we have our own yeah. podcast. That's just an insight to it. But yeah. I've been around mentors in my life and I understand how important it is. And just hearing things from these people, like for me, it's so valuable. Yeah. Money is anything, money's money, but learning and value is so important to me. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to provide. Yeah, no, like I'm I'm 100% in the same boat. I, I'm all about like the educating. I love learning. I love teaching people. I love speaking, as you can probably tell. It's something that I really enjoy doing. Uh, we're down to our last 30 seconds. It's been awesome so far. Uh, give me your top three words to talk about. If you had three words for your project, what would they be? Well, it's going to be the three core foundations, which is going to be education, mentoring, and innovation. And to touch on the last one, because I haven't already, is just simply because we're innovators. Like me, yeah. the other founders, the team, we're innovators. We're going to keep innovating. Always going to be on top of the curve. So yeah, yeah. that's it. I love it, mate. It's um, it's definitely a project I'm going to keep an eye on. Um, I, I have done a bit of a deep dive, but I now I've, I left it open so you could really try to win me over. Uh, they have to, the audience will have to decide. I think you've done a pretty good job today. I think you have, uh, you could definitely hit up any sort of speed dating and, and be, a, be an absolute warrior going through there. So I really appreciate it. We've hit that 10 minute mark. Um, thanks for coming on the show today and uh, keep an eye out for the beefy blokes out there, guys. Keep an eye out for them. Um, and thanks, Jackson. It's been awesome. Thank you. Thank you.